Statistical power. How do we work with it? Power is 1 minus beta. What's beta? Remember our null hypothesis table. You either accept it or reject it, and it's either true or false. If you accept it and it's true, great. If you reject it and it's false, great. If it was true but you rejected it, that's type 1, that's alpha, and you get to set that. If it's false and you accept it, that's a type 2, and that has probability beta. So how do we do calculations with this? What's the basic setup? First of all, you need to know it's a one-tailed test. We are testing a null hypothesis, for example, that p is less than or equal to 0.4 with a specific alternative, let's say p equals 0.6. So if the power is 80%, that means beta is 0.2. But what does this mean visually? We are doing a one-sided hypothesis test. So you're used to seeing a bell curve. But what we have now is two bell curves. Now, where do I draw the cutoff? Here's the thing. Alpha is supposed to be small, so we need to be scooted over. Beta is bigger, so we can have more area. Which means the line you want to draw is like to the right of the intersection, something like that. That way this area is 0.05 and this area, beta, is 0.2. If our observed result is greater than this critical value, we will reject the null. So this is the rejection region for the null hypothesis. The narrowness of the curves is going to determine whether we can tell them apart or whether they're all blurred together. And you can narrow a proportion curve by choosing a larger n.